So tonight, I'm Yasmin, I'm a student at the university, and my question is sort of related to the last question. Um, you talked about you wanted to come to the UK because you wanted to reach out to Muslims who you felt that the government were not able to reach out to. And I wondered why, in your opinion, you felt that the government were failing in this way to reach out to Muslims in Britain. This was the question that I wanted to come to UK to reach out to those Muslim who the government could not reach out. Sister, there's a slight confusion. <clears throat> I said, Charles Farr, the Director General of the Office of Security and Counterterrorism, felt that I could reach out to those Muslims who the government could not reach out to. He felt that, not me. And I think, again, because of the information which the Home Department has, that Peace TV is the most popular Islamic satellite channel in UK, watched by the Muslims as well as the non-Muslim, and the most popular speaker, according to the Home Department, not according to me, according to the Home Department, is Dr. Zakir Naik. So I, I repeated what he thought. He thought that I could reach better. Maybe he thinks that my speeches have influence, and he may have read my speeches in context. That's the reason he was not in favor of the Home Secretary that she passed the exclusion order. Hope that answers the question. Do you think that he has a point? Do you think that, um, in some sense, the government are failing to reach out to Muslims? Yes. To if you ask my opinion, that do I agree with the thoughts of Charles Farr that the government is failing out? Yes, I do agree with him. I do agree because, as I said in my earlier answer, that the government should not think that Muslims are part of the problem. The government should think that Muslims are part of the solution. Because a Muslim, there are many Muslims who are British citizens, and it is the duty of every Muslim to follow all the laws of the country staying in as long as the law does not force him to do something which is private in the religion, or prevents him from doing something which is compulsory religion. As far as India is concerned, I do not know of any rule or any law in the constitution which forces a Muslim in India to do something which is prohibited, neither does it prevent me from doing something which is compulsory. So I am a practicing Muslim and I am proud to be an Indian. So I am proud to be an Indian Muslim. Similarly, there are many Britishers who I feel may be feeling the same. They may be Muslims and they may be following the laws of the country, so they're British Muslims. So I feel that the government should take in confidence, and what they should do, that they should see to it, that this maligning by the media should stop. And the best example, best example is myself. I mean, there are many, there are 100 million viewers of Peace TV, and there are millions of people who, who tell that I am the ambassador for peace. They say I'm a peaceful person. There are many heads of states of several foreign countries, many, they have called me at the state guests. So do you mean to say all these state guests of several countries, the president, the prime minister, the king, the sheikh, they meet me, they have dinner with me. Do you mean to say they are meeting a person who is promoting terrorism, a person who spreads hate? So what I'm saying, that this is all again manipulated by the media. So the government should not fall prey to the media and take any decision Hastily. What they should do? They should give a chance for the person to clarify. And then I'm sure that most of the misconception will be removed. And I'm sure that UK would be a more peaceful country to live in. Hope that answers the question.